Alright. Pull this in. For my audio. This works. Just said, hopefully, this works. One of my first ones. This is very, uh, reviews. This is very important. <laughs> this is our review world. Let's go there. Right there. Hopefully this is recording. Should probably do a test. Okay, so this is the Odyssey. The new fool. And my goal is see whether I think it's full, whether in strength or in flavor. Body as they say. Body can refer to strength or flavor also. Just to be specific, I'm trying to get my flashlight to work. There will be no visuals on this. So you have to use your imagination. I'm just looking at the cigar jam right now. I'm going to do the whole process and explain what I do. Taking the cell phone off. Now I'm going to zoom on the wrapper. Get an initial smell of the wrapper. Look it over. It's kind of durable. Keeping my light to work. I have to look it up again. It looks like it could be like a broad leaf. I take off the band. Yep, I take off the band. Except for the other day. It was so wet where I was smoking here that I was holding on to the Victor Sinclair fan and it came in handy because I would have soaked that cigar by holding it. Then I blow in the cap, twist it in my mouth. This started years ago when I um, had a Tatawahe for the, like one of the first times. I used to just cut them even through the cellophane. And what happened was it cracked the wrapper. So ever since then I've always uh, wetted the cap before I cut it. After I do that, so if you're using my cutter, tell me to sanitize my cutter before cutting your cigar. Because that's what I do. Now I'm going to cut it, see what I can get with the cut. Ooh, nice. Five minutes in the video. Hopefully this audio is picking up. Okay. Very nice cut. Let me look at it up close. Yes, very nice. Not 
too much of a tape on it, but a little bit. It's not one of those straight, it's not one of those real fat mouths. Draw feels good. It's a little on the tight side, but that's good if it's, a, if it's what it's claiming to be full. I go out, I blow out first, then I examine the foot, and then what I do is uh, then I blow in or suck in. Is like my little ritual. Cap looks good on it. Another thing I can do is twist it some more now. You can give it a little bit what I call a padrone effect, where the wrapper and binder look like they're more fortified with all your moisture. And out and in again. And blow on the wrapper. Smell it again. And then blow on the foot. And smell it with both nostrils. The foot. Now, <laughs> what? Seven minutes. I'm about to wait. See if my ladies are working. I'm having a hard time working them. Okay. Oh, it's just bursted and died. That is not right. Maybe there's something else wrong with it. It really gave a lot of oomph, too. It's funny. Got this flat under. Let's see if this will work. Otherwise, I'm using my cell phone. What is going on with these lighters? They're both the same, it's funny. It's like they're cursed. This purple cheap lighter. That was the last color they had. Well, no, they had a purple and a red, so I chose the purple. Okay, let's see. It's worth it. Slow flame. Uh, soft flame. That's slow and soft. Okay. I used to wonder what was the best way to light your cigar. Still do it kind of funny. Some people. Definitely. I'd be very uh, autistic about watching everyone how they light their uh, cigars. Just getting the foot some more. in my mouth now and I'm gonna light it, blowing out of them gently, and then I'm gonna uh, draw through while it's in my mouth. It's kinda hard to do.
and then I check the foot to see if I need to get it some more. And I do. This lighter is weird. The rolly thing popped up and slanted. But it's working. So. Let's see if that works. See the camera gets the chair. Oh, it's not. It's faced backwards. Here. Trying to show the chair. There it is. Uh, probably have to zoom on or something. I really hope this audio is picking up. I had two small pop tarts of the snack and these little raspberry, blue raspberry uh, chewies. Alright, let me uh, take my first draw on the Odyssey Pool. I have it in the toilet. <coughs> Very nice. The draw is great. You know what's funny? Off the first draw, it's reminding me like the Victor Sinclair H. Maduro, which I love. And then the freaking Ritz Square Maduro Churchill's uh, that tasted. It was very similar to profile. And now this. In the first row. Let's see if it stays the same. What does it have time to? I can examine. Got some nice uh, breeze here. That's good. Getting the smoke out. Looks decent. I still have some Odyssey Connecticut's left. Oh, this is the reason for this uh, review. There are no reviews on this. So I wanted to be the first of some sort to post the review. I know it's not an A plus review, but it's at least like to let you know how I thought it was. We're at 15, 14 and a half minutes. So here's the thing about reviews that I haven't heard anyone mention. A cigar goes is can be a lot of different things. Like you have the same tobacco that you're smoking. But when it's in the humidor, you're gonna have dry cigars. You're gonna have beginning of acclimation cigars and we're going to have end of acclimation which can be for me one even two months I've had cigars I haven't been able to hold them longer 
have a good aim to hang on to like a, if I could, I would uh, David off Winston Churchill. Um, keep that for a year or so. But I haven't been able to. Those are bullets. But a lot of people don't mention this about the humidifying cigars. How different the cigar behaves, how it smokes. So they'll give their review on something. This is a, the case for Alec Bradley White Bolt. I've, I've seen reviews saying it wasn't good, saying it had a bad draw and all these things. I didn't have that experience, even when I first got it. it was, no, actually, actually, you know what? The very first one I had up until the halfway point, it did have a tight draw, but then it opened up. And then it ended up being a great cigar. I had a box and I threw away 10 and I kept, I smoked 10. And uh, they were very good. So that's just an example. When someone's giving their review on a cigar, it's, it's a bit of a fickle thing. You know, uh, Insomniac has mentioned this. Does it seem like a full body in strength or in play? I don't know about full, but it's you could call it medium, medium full. Right now I'm leaning more to medium. Let me uh, smoke for a while until I can uh, put my finger on how to describe it. And now I'm thinking like a pepper. It's not a long finish on the pepper. It's a little bit of a lingering finish. Slightly subtle linger. Nice, what I call a tobacco cream. Um, it's kind of in the same uh, style as something like the Punch the Opera. But it's not quite that, I would say. And also, it reminds me a little of the Rocky Patel. Cuban um, Maduro Pumas. Take this video maybe 30 minutes. Video? No, yeah, it's a video. I'm doing it for all this. I have black decaf coffee and drink. I have a fruit drink. Some people 
are avid about smoking a cigar with uh, no food or drink to get all the little notes out of it or something. <laughs> or just a little bit of water. I don't agree with that. I have, what I said, a sweet drink, something I learned to all you uh, new cigar smokers, if any are watching this video all year. All year. I used to get shook all the time, especially trying new singles. You find a, a stick and a level or whatever. I used to call it, I would call it shook when you get nauseous, when you're feeling nauseous. Once I was really sick, actually, but basically you just feel like you're in a gag or you feel like you're like a Like you would be on the verge of throwing up if you could throw up, but it just makes you, you know, sometimes lean toward that a little bit. But I learned having sweet drinks is going to counter that. They say vitamin C is great for it. There's this one, uh, Candy slash throat lozenge. Uh, uh, what the hell is it called? They basically went out of business for the. They're still in business, but the orange ones had vitamin C. They stopped selling. If you would Google softish, softish throat. Um, Drops or something like that. They they pop up. It's a weird brand. They had them at 99 cent store. And like everything, when I first tried it, they they go out, they stop selling them because they they got the the last uh, liquidated sale of Nice draw. Burn is a little wonky just on the bottom, just one side, which I call an ash holder, but not by much. And I'm talking a lot, so that's something a little different than what I'm usually doing. We're at 24 minutes almost. What I'll do is stop it at 30 minutes and then I'll start a new video when I get um, to the end and I'll just talk about it. I don't imagine it's going to change much. It is what it is as a smoke. What I'll do is, by the second half, if there's anything different about it, then I'll make a video again. Otherwise, until I start. Not in a negative way. You can also lump this in with the Cohiba black. It's not quite that, but it's a couple, couple um, degrees, a uh, couple um, differences away from it. Oh, well, 
also have to um, discuss the idea that this is called a fool. F U L L. I'm getting a little bit of a strength kick from it on the finish there. Now I'm touching it up. Which means just letting the part that's not burnt. When you read the specs on this, it does show you, I believe, like Nero saying that's the claim of it being full. I don't know what grade of the leaf this is. Funny, I've had strong cigars that I don't think they're claiming to be the girl, but they have um, been super strong. You want to know what my strongest cigar that I can think of is? I'll give a follow up. First, one I'm thinking of is the Liga Provada T52. That is super strong, all the way through. Um, right after that was actually, which is kind of funny, the late hour. Dave Roth late hour. I think I had it in the tour. In the tour. I think it was good. Up until the end, it got very strong. Another one that's good that got strong is uh, Sindicato Maduro, a great cigar in the uh, Toro and in the Robusto. The Robusto didn't give me any problems, but the Toro, I had to end it about two inches from the, the end of it. Just got so strong. All the other cigars that get you, get you nauseous and what I call shook is uh, at the nub when you're smoking it down to the nub. Oh, here's another strength story. Can't remember if it's the vintage or the regular white of Monte Cristo. I'm smoking this cigar outside for like two hours and no strength. Just nice, I'm going along and smoking it down. As soon as I'm done, maybe it's because I put it out, I put the ash out, I, I, I rub the cigar into the ash and it, you know, it gives off a nauseous smell, I guess. I don't know if it's that, or if it just it finally kicked in. And I was super nauseous. <laughs> the whole cigar, two hours, nothing. And then at the end, I, I remember I was feeling kind of sick. So I don't know if that was the regular or the vintage. I can't remember. So I'm gonna have to try them both again just to see if I get that effect and see how they would be different from each other.
so I wanted to try uh, La Galera, Connecticut. I remember when I first started smoking it, it was very good. But after the first, uh, getting into the first third, it seemed to be uh, bland or something, I don't know. It was, I ended up being, getting, like, getting kind of strong. I don't remember. I want to try that one again. Because the beginning of it was very good. I have a makeshift ashtray. It's a hair. Hair dye kit bowl. And I burned it so I don't know. Um, no. No, I don't. No comment about that. Okay, um, what I was saying. Oh, I burned my, uh, hair bowl, hair, hair dye bowl to, um, create a groove that it can set this cigar in. Out of respect to my old ashtray, which was a cup. Okay, we're at 32 minutes almost. Uh, okay, so... My old cup. like a plastic cup with a lid I would use as an ashtray and then I would use the, the lid as a cigar rest and I accidentally burned the plastic on it once with my cigar and what it did was it created a little ridge that grabbed the cigar when I rested it so I got the idea to do that to this new uh, hair dye bowl when I saw it in a store and I needed an ashtray. All right, so It's pretty much the same. I'm gonna end the video and then it's gonna probably go come back on when I get uh, a app that can connect the videos for uploaded to YouTube. And I'll be hopefully at the last third. Bye.